painful hours later here we are we gave birth 10th may i will tell you guys more about the entire birth in a separate video but yeah here we are my kids right here you guys are gonna obviously already you know see but then yeah mom's also here we haven't slept we haven't <laughs> eaten already it started and uh, yeah obviously you guys know i had a baby girl i know a lot of you thought it was a baby boy so did we actually we were quite shocked when we got to know my family so didn't believe it only there. but yeah i am in like a lot of pain because of the stitches and stuff but we're doing good baby is so good sleeping through and through sleeping feeding sleeping feeding so we're hoping she's a calmer baby came out also she did one way <laughs> and then quiet staring at me staring at the world she was in shock she was like what just happened for 20 <laughs> hours she was also shock she was also shock but she worked so hard to come through guys so hard 17 hours more than 30 baby worked a lot she's sleeping the way i wish i could sleep wait, wait. so very big baby nice and hatta katta she is guys she's cheeks and all are out fat nose like me and yeah she's a big baby she's very 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 cute guys just day one this human has kept us awake but i'm also too excited to sleep i don't want to miss a second of her like you know but it's just the beginning that's why but why good otherwise going home tomorrow hopefully um the iv will come out today my catheter will come out today and cuz obviously it was a oh by the way i had a vaginal birth a very very difficult labor and then vaginal birth but yeah she made it through and my vag is very damaged <laughs> right now but yeah everybody was there veronica was there our kids family it was it was really really fantastic i'll tell you guys more of course later in another video but just wanted to show baby sleeping and it's been day 1 and i still look Three months pregnant. This is how the tummy looks, you guys. So it's a lot of loose flesh, but yeah, I still look pregnant when I stand. Uh, but that's just like a few hours. Not even been 24 hours. So it's like a nice tummy, loose, loose tummy. It's all getting contracted. Alright, guys. I need to eat. We haven't. I haven't eaten. Mom hasn't eaten. So like, I'll catch you guys later. But. I never thought yesterday that I would make it. I literally thought like I am not making it through this. It felt like for ever that I was in labor. But we made it and she's here. I'm so swollen right now. Oh my god. Hi guys. <sighs> Good morning guys. Day 2. I still can't believe whatever is happening. I'm in pure shock. I'm in I'm in much better pain wise. But yesterday I was in a lot of pain cuz I have stitches down there, TMI. But I have stitches down there and it's uh it's kind of sore. And I woke up today 
and I watched her beside me and I'm just like I don't know how to react I want to do so much I want to hold her I want to hug her and I do that a lot but I can't do beyond a certain point because I'm so like damaged in the sense like my body is broken the birth was really 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 hard really hard so like i want to like lift her up and take her like around and stuff but my body is not allowing it so i have no guilt i'm like healing myself i just pick her up and i'm lying down i put her on my chest she's finally latched on really well starting to breastfeed since she was born obviously i'm getting very little milk it's colostrum it's just day 2 but she feeds on she feeds very well on both sides she her stomach is also this tiny but progressing well she's so healthy and perfect and she's pink pink everywhere and she's a mini mars she's literally me when i was a child literally it's like i'm looking at me and taking care of me and like i'll be able to like take care of mars in the way i want to now so my stomach area is contracting every time i breastfeed her naturally and my uterus is contracting my intestines every thing was out of place so now i have this bag of stomach sorry i think it's hard it's hard for me to talk but the weight that the skin is in is quite heavy which is leading to like breathlessness um but yeah can't believe i have no belly there's no baby kicking in me she is really they tell you i have a baby girl i don't know if i told you any of it i'm so dazed i haven't slept it was 40 plus hours and i hadn't slept after giving birth i hadn't slept i slept really well right now for whatever 3 4 hours i slept felt like 7 hours so did my mom my mom and i both didn't sleep for 40 plus hours she slept like a baby but i'm so glad i got the rest i got i needed it it's 7:30 am it's 11 may it's my day my baby is day 2 years old for the rest of my life and i am really 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 happy even though i'm so tired i am so happy i love it when i have to breastfeed i love breastfeeding her even though it's exhausting i love that you know i get to soothe her and comfort her and she sleeps on my chest it's a lot of skin to skin my mom also is so everyone's in love with her you guys everyone's held her my mom and i are like doing a fab job taking care of her we understood her rhythm we understood her cries we're getting there we're getting to know her look she's day 2 you have to get to know her baby is going to cry what else giving all the quick updates so i can get back to my day uh it feels good i want to rest some more so i'm going to go back to sleep and sleep and feed her she's got a little spit up so they're cleaning her sponge bathing her a little bit mama's like always with her because of the stitches now the tmi part comes and the raw reality comes in the tmi part is that because i got stitches down there like a lot she's a big baby very big baby um i was afraid to and he they put a catheter in me for a day but then i had to go myself and then i had to poop and then my poop wasn't coming cuz i was scared cuz the stitches down there too raw you want the poop to be soft my girls you want the poop to be soft everything will be explained in another video but um thirsty but you need to take a stool softener if you tore you need to take a stool softener it is everything so i didn't poop for an entire day i was highly uncomfortable in my stomach cuz i was after birth i hadn't eaten i hadn't pooped it was very dysregulated last night i just woke up and i was just like i am pooping today but i have so much to tell you guys in terms of the true raw reality of my night and my pregnancy and every bit of what i'm feeling you're going to see even though i don't upload it you're going to see every bit of it because 
you have to know what this feels like and i'm gonna tell you everything so get ready for the most crazy crazy journey of my life which is giving birth to my daughter can't even believe i've said it i have a daughter and her name mostly is abigail i know i did tell you guys but we decided to name her abigail i since two years i've wanted like a kid and i kept teasing and i've always said if i ever have a daughter i'll name her abigail i don't know why and when she came out of me i'm like abigail so i think mostly it's gonna be abigail abby in short i'm going to go to bed right now that's all the update i have all the details in a separate video but this is just me filming my baby my mornings raw stuff you know my vlog fam time to poop and time to sleep i love you guys so much i will catch you guys and hey guys good morning it is the third day in the hospital and we are packing up to go home i can barely keep my eyes open but i'm excited to go home because this bed is not a vibe like my tailbone has gone for a toss because i leather beds right of course but it's okay i mean you know we knew this was a part of everything breastfeeding luckily she's latching beautifully and she's able to breastfeed which i'm so happy because i wanted to do it but it's exhausting it's a 24 hour job for sure i'd be better off at home in my comfort zone in my blanket and getting my massages and you know food and tea when i want there's like a lot of timings and everything here which is just like bothering me but you can see my eyes i am so sleepless right now the thing is like every part of my body is so like my stitches it takes me 15 minutes to go to the washroom and pee the washing the changing of my pad and it's a whole situation so excited to go home y'all i can't wait my mom and i both are like let's get out of this place we were taken care of extremely well but you know what it is guys these beds are just killing <laughs> a shower breastfed as usual and now i'm eating because i'm so hungry the hospital food is not that bad actually it's not that bad i'm having upma and the chai is so good delicious chai my tummy is still contracting and going back every day it's looking a little like shrunken ah chai can't think of anything else but chai in the morning dude yeah in the mornings i seem better though i only slept four hours guys like in totality since labor i've slept only like seven hours when i wake up in the morning i feel like drugged and then i take a shower and i feel like this and then i'm again like it's a whole vibe i keep talking to myself in the shower i'm like you're fine like a child but it's important you know you have to tell yourself i keep telling myself you're such a warrior mars you did it you're so amazing look at you look at your stomach it's come a long way and i just like take a shower my mouth i'll eat this and be right back you can only see a black head of hair yeah mama kaun sa tel which one is oh okay. Hello guys. What day 3 looks like. See, there's still like a like 3 months pregnant vibes. We have a very sexy mesh panty. And this is the tummy. I am 
trying my first pumping session right now. I'm Look at me, I'm in fashion. Yeah, the baby's position was such that it has caused a lot of pressure on my back. 40 minute Dyson session now takes three hours. It's been a while since I wore makeup. Uh, and he comes to me, baby. Bless you. I'm smelly, I'm milky. It's day seven today. I do not leave her side, like I'm like a hawk. Um, Abby had a little jaundice, a little higher level of jaundice.